Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spare Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the T1 2-in-1 laptop from One Netbook. So let's get started. Now, if you guys have been following me for quite some time, you know I've been reviewing laptops for the past year and I've actually fell in love with the two-in-one tablets. Uh, these things are very versatile. You could turn them into a tablet, you could turn them into a laptop, you have a stylus that you could use on these. So they're very multifunctional, especially if you have Windows on here or if you install Linux as well, which I will be doing to this guy later in the future. This is called a T1 from One Netbook. Now, don't mind the T1 part yet because the One Netbook is what surprises me. The company behind this is actually the creators of the One X Player the handheld PC if you guys are familiar with that and with, with the Steam Deck being so popular they blew up basically because they actually have availability on their handheld PCs as well as Intel and AMD versions. Now this doesn't fall too far from that Apple either because this is a very powerful PC. I might say this might be one of my most powerful laptops that I currently own. That's because it's using the latest generation Intel i5 1240p, which is the 12th generation i5 with 12 cores and four performance threads. I'm gonna leave all the specs right on the right over here. What surprises me the most about the CPU is that it supports DDR5, which the T1 has as well. It contains 16 gigabytes of DDR5 at 5200 megahertz. Also a 512 gigabyte hard drive. Now the hard drive is upgradable and this is an NVMe, so you are getting most performance out of it. And they do have another version of this, which steps it up to an i7. So I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description below low for their Indiegogo and even though it is a campaign that's going on right now because they have a lot of deals for this laptop I do believe in the company because they already have a lot of products available which is the One X Player, One X Mini, they do have laptops as well they're just pushing into a tablet market right now. Now I thought about doing this review slightly different which is taking it outdoors so most of the screenshots that you will be seeing will be outside because I did this on July 4th and I was over at a friend's house with a pool and it was no clouds and I wanted to check out how bright it could be with this and is it actually functional because a lot of times when I test out any laptop that has a touchscreen or stylus the reflection on the screen just makes it unbearable so here's a screen of me just having the laptop sitting on a bench on somewhat of a shade but you'll be able to see that it is bright and I am able to see everything on the screen now this is a 2k screen or 144p uh, so it's 2160 by 1440 uh, p so it's not the general uh, 1920 by 1080 screen so it is a bigger resolution but still with scaling factor of 150 you can actually see this during the day no problem with the sun right on top of you even though it's in a little bit of a shade it is very good it also includes a stylus which works just like any other stylus that I have used. But if you have the addition of Windows 11, you are actually able to hand write into the start menu and pull up programs that way. And yes, drawing and writing works just as well. The stylus is charged with a USB-C, so you can use the USB-C charger that comes with the laptop to charge a stylus as well. It also has a magnetic back, so it actually sticks to the bottom of this tablet. Now, as far as the keyboard, it could go in two positions, uh, flat like I, how I have it right now. And also it has a little bump so you could actually raise the keyboard a little bit for better typing. The keyboard itself does have plastic keycaps and it does have a little bit of a tactile feel to it. So it feels pretty nice when you're typing into it. It feels like you're actually typing into something. Also the keys are not backlit. It does have a very small touchpad. That's my only complaint. The touchpad is a little bit smaller than I would want. Slightly bigger would have been better because I do have to swipe up multiple times to get to certain areas from the bottom of the screen to the top. But otherwise, that doesn't kill the deal because you do have the stylus and most of the time when I'm using tablets like this, I am using a Bluetooth mouse. Now, what I do like is that they retained a lot of the connections that most modern Surface uh, tablets like this eliminates. So on one side, you have the USB 3, USB-C for charging, and then the mini HDMI. So yes, you still have an HDMI port. On the opposite side, you also have a USB-C, headphone jack, and then the volume buttons up and down. Now on top of it, you only have one button, which is the power. So it does retain the USB 3, which a lot of my equipment is still on. Now, as far as the angle of the monitor, they actually devised this new thing that uses three barrels in the back. Uh, so you can actually make the angle go as low as almost to the surface, like 179 degrees or something like that. It could go really flat or it could bring it back up. And it's actually very easy to maneuver the way they have it designed with these three barrels. So I actually like the way 
how the backing works to adjust the screen. Now, another impressive feature about this uses Intel Iris XE. On the i5 version, you do get 80 EU, which is execution units. And then on the i7, you get 96 EU or execution units. So it slightly performs better than the i5. But with this graphic card, even though it's built in, it's their latest version, it actually could play games. It's not bad. I was actually able to get Star Citizen working at 720p on this at almost a very, almost a playable rate. It's not fast, but depending on the station that you're at, like if you're on a normal space station, it actually runs pretty good. If you're on Vorville or some, some planet side station, it does lag a bit. But yes, it actually runs. On other Intel cards that I actually have, it would actually not pick up the game or would not even run because the graphic card was just not strong enough. So that impressed me the most. And now I'm gonna show you all the benchmarks that I did, which is 3D Mark, PC Mark, and also Cinebench. Now here I'm gonna show you another clip of my DaVinci Resolve because it actually was able to edit videos and I didn't have any problems with it. I mean, exporting it would be a little bit slow, but being able to actually edit the video on this tablet, which is a very amazing. It does have a front webcam, it does 720 and also does um, 1650 by, uh, I'll put the resolution right here, but it is a four by three resolution. And here's a footage of the four by three resolution on the picture and as well as the webcam itself. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. When you're idling, like now, it's quiet. The fan doesn't even, like it's not even operating. I don't even hear the fan going off. But as soon as you start putting some multimedia on, like YouTube or any type of work, you will slightly hear the fan. And obviously, if you're gonna be playing games, this thing blows like a blow dryer. So you will hear it when you're playing games. But ultimately, when you are just idling or using as light work, Excel, Word, and stuff like that, you barely would hear it. Only when you start kicking in the multimedia where it needs to encode or decode, then you will start hearing the fan. Otherwise, it is virtually quiet. Like right now, I'm sitting next to it and you can't even hear the laptop running. In conclusion, this is a very good work laptop. It could do all the work that you need, Excel. It's got the perfect four by three screen resolution for reading documents, doing office work itself. But because it has a pretty decent Intel graphic GPU in here, you're actually able to play some light gaming. So I really prefer using this new laptop. So everything we talked about will be linked down in the description below. They do have a discount going on because it is on IgG. So if you are planning to pick one up, this is the best time. If you have any questions or want me to test anything particular to this model, let me know down in the comments below. But I will be formatting this and wiping it out to Linux to see what the compatibility is, especially on the 12th generation i5. So yeah, you'll be hearing from me probably from a week or two with updates on Linux installed on this. Anyway, that is it for me guys. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.